can't find him. He turned off the suit so much. Himself is right here. Keenan Lonsdale, make some noise. Make some noise. <laughs> nice chat. Uh, dude, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on everything you got going on right now. Thanks, thanks for uh, having me. We're going to talk about the show. We're going to get into that in a minute. But first, I saw the other night you were just performing live over at the Roxy. Yeah. How did that go? It went way better than I thought. I was super <laughs> nervous like all day beforehand. Um, but a music producer I work with, Louis Vuitton, uh, he had a show and he was like, do you want to come and perform some of the songs? I was like, yeah. It's incredible. So is this your either first in a long time? Like, how comfortable are you in that, in that zone, performing in that way, singing uh, in a setting like that? Uh, super uncomfortable, but as soon as I was on the stage, it was like the best thing ever. Felt right. Felt really right. Yeah. Are you working with Louis on the, on the EP that you got coming out too? Is that... Uh, I'm not necessarily an yeah. EP. There could be okay. more than that, less than that. Who knows? Ooh, Ooh, very exciting. Who knows? Is that an exclusive? Did we all know that already, that there could be more? There could be it was more? pretty vague, my yeah. answer, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, but I'm still going to take it. I there think you it's go. exciting. You got it. No less. Uh, how much longer do you think the wait uh, until the world gets to hear some of the new stuff you've been working on? Um, hopefully not that long of a wait. Um, yeah, I've been in the studio almost every day, actually, just writing and writing. Yeah. So um, hopefully something in the summer. Very exciting. What's that process look like for you when you're writing? What, what, what does it look like when you sit down to write a song and you walk into the studio? It's us I mean, usually uh, since I've been writing, it's always been by myself. But um, the past few months, it's sort of, I've sort of been like introduced to a couple more co-writers to like challenge like my melodies and lyrics mm -hmm. a little more, which is really cool. Um, some experiences are a little funny and some are really amazing. And so... Yeah now finding like a good balance but it's yeah it's we usually like start from scratch with a producer and um and i just build off of what they're doing yeah what, what are you looking for when you're picking out a producer like what do you when you have to find that guy because that's an important role when you're when you're making your yeah. music that's going to be your partner in crime for a lot of this process so what what kind of sound are you trying to find what what kind of person are you looking for how do you find that perfect match i think it's hard i think yeah. the important thing um that I've been doing like these past couple months is just getting in the studio with a bunch of different people. Yeah. And then if I don't have to like, it, cause I don't really know how to put into words what I'm wanting yeah. for a sound. If I don't have to like say it and they don't have to say it and it just happens naturally, like that's, that's kind of what I want. That's why working with like Louis Vuitton is, is really cool cause it feels very natural and we've sort of just created this like soulful pop sound, I suppose. Yeah. Soulful pop is a great way to uh, to describe at least the vibes I was getting. Yeah. Like higher, uh, which was about it's almost a year to go. Like in a couple of weeks, yeah, it'll be a year. Well, you know, we do a little bit of research here and there. Uh, but like higher came out 
almost a year to the day. We're close, a couple of weeks away uh, from when it was posted up there. And you've got like, I don't know, half a million, five, some 500, some odd thousand plays on that. That's got to be a pretty good feeling. When you put that single out, was this... Was music a career in your head at that point, or was this, this is something fun that I really love doing, I'm just gonna put it out there and see what happens? Uh, I actually wrote the song just before like I was beginning on The Flash, and I was like, maybe I'll just put some stuff out there beforehand, because I know I'm gonna be focusing so heavily on acting. Yeah. Um, I always knew that I wanted to continue doing music, I just know that sometime, there's certain times where I can focus a lot more on it, and other times where I sort of really have to get my mind in one place. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm like, Screw it, I'll just do both as much as I can. It's kind not? of fun. Woo, yeah, we got some support. There we are. Uh, <laughs> um, so I want to ask you, because how early did you start or did you find uh, your sort of natural talent for, for music, your, your vocal abilities? I saw your earliest YouTube videos, they go back, I don't know, six, seven years, something like that. But yeah. I want to know how deep this goes, because you, you got a little bit of everything, man. You're an incredible dancer, we all know that. You, you can act your ass off, we all know that. And now we're finding like you're a pretty damn good singer, too. But how, how early on did that bug bite you? Well... I mean, I was obsessed with Michael Jackson since I was like uh, who three years old. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, sure. I knew I was like, I want to dance on stage with him one day. So I was dancing for the longest time. And then um, when I was like 12, I started writing songs but and like singing on Garage Band. But my, I was so bad that even my mom was like, Keenan, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> like you just, it, your voice is and the tone is just a little annoying. And I was like, well, that's Thanks, not Thanks, mom. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Well, I, at least I know you're being honest. But, uh, For sure. It, yeah, and then when I was like 18, I started doing covers, recording myself, and I think at that point I was like teaching myself how to sing and how to record. Yeah. Sort of just found my voice along the way. So it was like uh, through that process that I figured it out. But also because I wasn't that confident, it was very scary. Yeah, yeah I can imagine, yeah. Uh, especially. Well, when it's very vulnerable. Like, yeah, when your mom, when your mom is the person telling you, reach for the stars, do anything you want, except this thing. Yeah, like, but now, but then it's like I could really trust her when she was like, now you sound real good. So yeah, well now you know. Yeah, Thanks, now you know mom. you're getting the real deal. Um, I was reading online that you're one of, uh, I want to say, the youngest of six siblings on your mom's side. It's yeah, big, you come from a big side. family. Is, yeah. is the long story short. And yeah. I'm wondering with uh, with this triple threat blood coursing through your system that you can do all these things so incredibly well. Was it were any of these talents? Was it something throughout the family? Were there other people in the family that also big singers, big dancers, things of that nature? Yeah, I mean, I actually have eleven siblings in total. It's like a long story, but yeah, um, I think there's like three or four of us that sing and do music. Um, other, uh, two of my other siblings from my mom's side, they like danced um, for the longest time, which is really cool. Everyone's really talented in their own ways. Like I have a brother that DJs and um, sister that's really dope at basketball. So like everyone just has their thing, which yeah, is awesome. Right. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, family collaborations? How deep is this Michael Jackson obsession? Are we going to see a full five on thing? Are you going to go all the way? Or are you going <laughs> to? Maybe with all of us, all eleven. Of us. Get every all eleven. Get them all in there. Man. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, we I'll have I have 11. collaborated with like a couple of my brothers before, and yeah. like uh, actually with Haya, um, my brother like was the audio engineer for that EP. Oh, no way. Yeah, which That's was really awesome. cool. Yeah. Did he help you out too, like on your earlier YouTube videos and stuff like that, or was that all like solo stuff where you were doing your covers and whatnot? Yeah, that was mostly just solo stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was kind of interesting. Like a lot of my uh, brothers and sisters, I met later on in life. So when we finally did connect, like properly, then we realized like we did music and we can connect it that way. Very cool. Very cool. When you were doing the YouTube stuff, there was some great, especially in some of the earlier videos, some like multi-part harmonies and things like that. Was that all stuff that you explored and found on your own and just kind of figured out as you were kind of working through? Or did you have somebody kind of guiding you like, here's what a third sounds like, here's how the fifth right, right, works, right. stuff like that? Well, I went to a performing arts high school, which we mostly focused there on dancing, but uh, we had like group singing classes. Mm -hmm. And I sort of just, I had, a, there was a lot of good singers in my school. So I sort of just stayed at the back because I, it made me really nervous and I had a l really low range, so I couldn't hit the same notes as the other guys. Yeah. But I could hear like what they were doing and um, sort of like tried to train like when I went home. <laughs> Not in front of many people. Very cool. Well, last, last question I was about music and then we'll, we'll talk about some Flash stuff and we'll get into that. Um, so you just played at the Roxy, you got music coming this summer. 
you were feeling a little uncomfortable, Hopefully. feeling better. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're all hoping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think you'll have time? You're gonna start touring, playing some of that music out, getting it out there, getting the word out. Hell yeah, that would yeah, be. That's awesome. That's the dream, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be a dream come true to sort of uh, work through the week, um, you know, on on the show and like. Yeah. Tour on the weekends. How, what's the shooting schedule like on this thing? I imagine you guys are pretty busy. I mean, you're done it's for like, the year, right? You wrapped in April, I think, or no? Um, yeah, we wrapped in April. Yeah. Uh, the next season will start filming in July. Oh, wow. So you get a little bit of a break. Yeah, a and then we bit. film for 10 months wow. each season. So it's yeah. like... If I could whistle, I would have made that noise. The crowd yeah, just... I can't whistle either. I can't whistle. Oh, yeah. up top, man. Give me one yeah. of those. We can't whistle. That's go. a good thing. That's great. I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but if we could, that is the appropriate that's noise. The Whoever made that sound, uh, that's a lot. So does that ever, I mean, that sounds exhausting. And now here you are looking to fold in this kind of other career at the same time. Mm. Uh, is there a part of your brain that knows you have to do this, but is also a little scared of having to do this? Like, this is going to be a lot at once. Or are you ready for it? Like, having gone through, you've been on the show for a couple of seasons now, so you, you got the rhythm down. You think it's going to be something you could uh, totally do? You're looking forward to it? Definitely looking forward to it. Well. I think... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it because the shooting schedule is, is so tough. Um, and I'm already, like, always exhausted. But I think, I don't know, it's also something I have to try it. Yeah, you, know, you have, have to. to find out and see if it's possible. Well, you're damn good at it, so please do try it because uh, I'd love to see what comes out of it, man. Uh, let's get into the show. You know, we had a, uh, a pretty intense episode last week, uh, and without yeah. getting into spoiler territory, uh, you know, we've got the finale tomorrow night, uh, 8 o'clock on CW. We're all very excited for it. What, what are you excited about? Are you excited for this episode to air? What can't you wait for? What can you tell us without giving anything away, obviously? I think uh, some hearts will be pretty broken. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> Are you saying hearts are going to be broken? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in the front is like, stop it. Stop it. Don't say that. Don't stop it. Don't stop break it. my heart. It's, like it's, too, it's already done. They filmed it. It's happening. Yeah. We already had some yeah, tears. Yeah, might I cry again tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. Get ready um, to cry. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Or well, maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to wait and find out. Crying can be healthy. Uh, processing yeah. of the emotions. Totally. You're going to let go. So we're going to break some hearts tomorrow night. That's, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's the finale. So you've got to expect yeah. it's going to be a bit of a whirlwind and of emotions. And, um, but I think a lot of questions will be answered at, at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they wrap it up really nicely. Yeah. Nice maybe isn't the right word, <laughs> but we'll see. We're going to be crying nice tears. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe everything is perfect. I said the other day, like, they were like, what, what's going to happen to Wally? I was like, he just starts flying. He gets his flying ability and just goes <laughs> off to, like, the beach and just yeah. chills out. He goes to, like, some <laughs> other alternate earth where everyone's happy all the time. Yeah, it Hawaii. Always sunny. Yeah, he just goes, yeah that's right. Hawaii, Hawaii is the alternate earth. He just yeah. goes to Hawaii. Um, the suit which I'm sure you've answered a trillion and one questions over and over again about, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't bring up how badass it is and I want to explore. I thought you were going to say how bad it is. I was like, no, how? No, 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 no. This, yeah. this is a safe place, man. This is a room full of fans and love. Um, so do you remember, I mean, it's a job now. You put the suit on, you go to work. But do you remember that first time you turned around and saw yourself in this suit? What, like, what yeah. that feeling was, what was in your head when you realized, oh, this is real. Yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I felt uh, really cool, to be honest. Oh, you have also, to. very, like, inadequate. I was like, I'm not a superhero, but I do look like one right now. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I can sell this. Yeah, I can make this yeah, work. yeah. But also, the first time I, I wore it on camera, I guess I hadn't even, because we need help to, to put it on. Yeah, I was going to so, ask how long that takes. Like, is it, it should um, take long, but it's, like, like, a difficult thing to get into, right? Yeah, I can put on, like, half of it, and then the other half, like, and my cowl and stuff goes on with help. Yeah. So I hadn't seen the whole thing, like, with the cowl, like, in a mirror or anything until, uh, till, like, the images came out. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's the coolest way to see it, is, uh, is those, like, those images that get... Per yeah, uh, I mean, it's nice to look in a mirror and see, like, what, what do I look like, but... Yeah. Did, was it, did it feel kind of like, because, I mean, as any kid, you're obsessed with Michael Jackson, you want to be a superhero, I'm sure, because uh, Michael Jackson was very much a superhero when we were a kid yeah. in his own way, the things that he would do. So here we are living this dream. It, was it like one of those pinch me moments? Like the, you realize, like, this is, this is my job. This is my Definitely. And because I used to watch The Flash, like I watched the first season. Yeah. Um, so then I'm standing there like in a kid Flash suit and I'm like, ah. Oh. Didn't really know what else to say, but I was like, all right, <laughs> this is weird. Going away, like, huh? Yeah. That's me. 
yeah. Kid Flash now. Yeah. Um, we're going to get into nuts and bolts on this suit because I'm obsessed with this and then I'm going to move on, I promise, guys. But, like, you know, you go to any, I don't know, Nike Town, Adidas Sport, any place where normal people buy clothes that they have to run around in, and that's the expectation. 99.9% uh, .9 of it is not made out of what appears to be heavy leather or armor. It, it's made of, like, nice light fabrics. What is it like having to walk around and be uh, one of the uh, universe's most fast creatures in what appears to be a really heavy suit? Does it weigh a lot? Is it, like, just super thick leather? How is it cut? Like, how do you move in that thing? It doesn't weigh a lot, and it is fairly flexible, which is cool. But um, it's really hot, and it is leather. So, uh, yeah, and so... It's a weird choice. Mm, it's actually really good. When it's, like, cold outside, it's really good. Nice. But if you're filming inside or it's a hot day, which it rarely is in Vancouver, actually, um, it's, you're just going to be sweating like crazy, which is not ideal. But, uh, and then when you have to do the running stuff... Yeah, I'm like, saying, you got to run around <laughs> in that stuff, man. Yeah, be intense. you never like I've never felt so unfit in my life than when I'm doing that like green screen running because it's like you run for two seconds and you're like, I need, I need, I need a break. I need a break. They're like, OK, it's been two seconds. I'm like, I know, but this you're, lever. Do you, uh, do you ever try to just casually walk off wearing it and take it home? Like, oops, oh, look what happened by accident. I yeah, have a yeah. Costume now. Oh. I remember there was one time where I like we were ch moving sets and uh, usually if we're moving sets, they transport us. But. I was going to get changed, and I ended up driving myself, but I was just in my Kid Flash, like, <laughs> outfit, driving myself to the next set. I was like, I wonder what this looks like from the outside. Oh, man, what a time to get pulled over. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were going too fast. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know I Officer, was. I hope you appreciate how hilarious this ticket's yeah. going to be, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, you said you were a fan of the show. Uh, you know, you watched it before you got on it. Um, and I'm wondering how deep of a fan you were. I'm not, like, checking for credentials, but I ask within the context of, is it hard to keep up with all the alternate timelines and, and the changing of the, the future and the past and, like, the remnants and all these things? Does it ever get confusing when you're on the inside of it trying to, to act and, and, and tell this story? Is that a difficult thing for you guys to wrap your head around on set? Yeah, it's not difficult to tell the story, but right. we definitely have conversations with each other, and we're like, "So wait, if the time remnant did this and this and this blah blah blah," yeah. um, and we get and we confuse each other, but it's kind of fun like that. Yeah. Um, and then when we get to watch the episode all come together, and um, it's 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 cool. Did you ever uh, did you ever make a decision as an actor about something in a scene, and then you saw the full episode back, and it like you was like, oh okay, that's what that was for. I, I I thought it was about this. Now that I see it all connected together, it makes way more sense or something. Like, do you ever yeah. just go with it in a moment? Because like you gotta you gotta make your time, you gotta make your dailies, so you got a, a tight schedule, and it's like, all right, I think I know what has to happen here. But then once you see it all as mm. one big piece, it all kind of clicks. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of stage direction yeah, uh, with imagine. all the visual effects, and so. A lot of time, I mean, our directors are pretty great at explaining mm -hmm. um, what we're doing and what's happening with the, the VFX, but there are times when, like, they're like, you so you'll be running around here and then you're going up this wall and blah, 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 blah. And you're like, cool. And then you finish and you sort of jump into the scene and then they're like, you should probably be breathing heavily because, and I'm like, oh, all right. And I'll do it a little bit, but then I watch it back and I'm like, no, no, no. He's like, I'm everywhere, like up yeah. and down this, this planet. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I probably should have, like, breathed heavier. He's probably tired. Yeah, it's kind of hard to anticipate how you would breathe in that scenario. Yeah, I mean, there's, but there's get, other things. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it's happened multiple times. But uh. um, You know, with uh, season three coming to a close tomorrow, you're starting to shoot season four and all that coming up. It's very exciting times. What are some of the things that you're, you're hoping for, for your character moving forward? What, I mean, I know going in, you didn't think you'd get the suit and you'd be uh, Not this, quickly, this early. Yeah. yeah. So now, now you've reached that point. Mm. A lot of people, now, they get to that point. Now what do you do? What are you hoping for next? What yeah. do you like to say? Um, I mean, I always like when a character is like uh, facing a lot of demons. I think that's mm -hmm. really fun. Mm -hmm. Not for the character, but for the actor. <laughs> yeah. um, I'd also like to see like alternate versions of Wally. I think that would be really cool. Like I, we haven't seen him on Earth 2 or, um, you know, we haven't seen his doppelganger. And I think that would be really fun yeah. uh, to play. Um, but yeah, I think just I, I want to see him grow from a lot of these dark experiences and not like run away from them. I, I think that would be a really integral part of him becoming like the hero that he is destined to be. 
<laughs> Very cool. Yes. Well, we look forward to seeing all that and such. Uh, I'm going to turn it over in just a second to audience Q&A. I had one more question I wanted to ask. I wanted to get uh, your, your permission on this. Uh, just one question. I think you just made a really beautiful post recently uh, on your Instagram account. And everything I think that you could have wanted to say about it, I feel like, was in that post. Uh, but if it's okay, I just wanted to ask one quick question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so Gina Rodriguez uh, gave you a great tweet out there uh, saying how proud and how, how much you've sort of helped countless others out there facing similar uh, situations and leading similar stories. And in, in the spirit of that, I'm, I'm really curious about uh, the moments leading up to that big decision to press that button to post and kind of what you were thinking about. Were, were you afraid? Were you relieved after you did it? And just uh, very curious about that part of uh the process if you wouldn't mind sharing that yeah um honestly at the time i did it all based off of feeling and it, i really wasn't even thinking that much which was kind of nice yeah. um because it is something that i've been thinking about for as long as i can remember um so it was sort of i don't know it was it's actually really relaxing <laughs> which <laughs> is awesome. ne- it's something i never thought i'd um uh, be able to say about the topic, but um, yeah, yeah, felt good. It was it was very freeing. Very cool. Well, thank you for sharing that, and I'm happy to hear that, man. Thanks. And uh, and I really do appreciate uh, your candidness. And uh, we're going to turn it over at this time to the audience. I think we got some mics out in the room. I'm excited to hear the questions. The first one's going to be over here in the back. Hey. Kid Flash, my brother, hey. is in the house. <laughs> Listen, man, I know you see, see, uh, you said the season finale tomorrow is going to bring heartbreaks and tears, but please tell me you have a moment tomorrow, man, with Savitar. He's been messing with you this whole season, brother. Yes. Tell me. Yes, what happens? Messing. Without spoilers, please. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, ha- we have moments. We definitely have moments. Um, but it's, it's going to be a struggle. Like, the finale is going to be a struggle for everyone. Um, but that's really all I can say. Yeah. yeah. That's rough, yeah. but you don't want to say too much, right? We, we want to preserve say too the experience. Much. Yeah, you get, yeah, of course. And you see, you know, really, you don't want to know either right now. You, no, exactly. I don't even know why I asked the question. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even... Thank you. That was awesome. Uh, our next question is going to be right over here. Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Iris, and um, hey. unfortunately... <laughs> well, that's not unfortunate. Sorry, that. that's a... <laughs> Just for what happened last week. Um, <laughs> so ah. um, my question is, which you've probably gotten a lot. Uh, if you had a superpower, what would it be, and would you use it for good or evil? Ooh. <laughs> um, I mean, I know everyone says that. You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. I was going to say flying, but I actually think super speed would be maybe the best thing to have because it's like yeah. there are almost no limits. Yeah. And if I want to go back yesterday and like fix something, I could do that. Um, would I do it for good or evil? Probably good. <laughs> if in, I said evil, that might spark some problems. In theory, you could get the speed, try it out, and if you don't dig it, you can go back in time and re-up and make a different And choose decision. a different talent. Oh, but then the timeline, because then if you never had the speed... You know what? We're not going to get lost in this. Exactly. We're not going to... This is... Exactly. We're not going down this road. I know. I would, mess, I would mess it up, for sure. So, some, yeah, somehow. Uh, yeah. I believe we only want... We have one more question. It's going to be right here. Hi, how's it going? Good, um, how are you? Since the DC movie and television universes are completely different, mm-hmm. are we... Are you hopeful to be able to at least make a walk-on appearance in the movie that The Flash is going to have or even make an individual, play an individual character when you're there? Oh, I mean, I think that would be uh, super fun if that ever happened, but, I, but the worlds are pretty separate. Um, so I'm just looking forward to watching it like everyone else. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Question? Okay. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, I could do this all day. That's not the unfortunate part. That's a great part. I could hang out with you and talk to you all day. The unfortunate part is we're out of time. Uh, so I, I know. I got to cut it short, and I got I to gotta wrap things up here. But uh, as if I need to tell you guys, the finale is tomorrow night, 8 o'clock mm-hmm. on the CW. Keep an eye out, and fingers crossed, maybe for some music this summer. And yeah. then following that, we'll keep an eye out for a tour as well. Yeah. I, I, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys for your questions. And thank Keenan, you guys. Thank you for Thanks. hanging out with us, man. Round of, of applause, course. man. Kid Flash himself, <laughs> Keenan Lonsdale.